Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Money in the Bank. I'm Shanti Store alongside my co-host, Jack Taylor, and we are the Panthers Brawl Podcast here giving you money in the bank. And today, oh, this is a fun episode for you guys today. This is probably going to be the most informal you're ever going to see us be. So enjoy it while it lasts because today is a hate show. Strictly hate. We're breaking down things we hate, people we hate, teams, management, anything. It can be it can be Panthers related. It can be anybody. But to keep this thing direct, we're going to start with the NFC South. All right. And what better way to start with the NFC South than New Orleans? Obviously, we don't like New Orleans. I, that, this, I, if you ask any Panther fan, I, 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 the, the one team they probably we all equally hate about the same is New Orleans. Oh yeah. Atlanta's second. Atlanta's around there. Tampa, yeah. we Tampa's cute. I'm okay we, with Tampa. We can really care less what Tampa really does. Like Tampa yeah. Tampa. It's cute. Yeah, James Winston can go get his eye surgery. He can go eat some eat some. Fine, yeah. Go fine. go do go do your thing, you and your 30 picks. Go ahead. You have have a blast. But one person I we pro- I probably hate, I dislike the most right now is Taysom Hill. Not because yeah. of anything he's done, but I like the I'm going to say, it's, for me, it's been the media push oh, on no, Taysom yeah. Hill. 100%. Obviously, I mean, I mean, Taysom Hill's thrown a grand total of 15 passes in the NFL. That's and, what, and like what, this, he's, not, he's been in the league two years now? Yeah, I think so, yeah. At least yeah, so years. 15 total passes in two years in, in, in the NFL. And Sean Payton has championed Taysom Hill as being the future, being a future quarterback for the, for the New Orleans Saints. Along with the you know the rest of the media falling in love with him as well, while you know there's a guy named Teddy Bridgewater who went five and zero and threw for thirteen hundred yards and nine touchdowns and two picks. But, I, but, but, but hey, look, you know what? I mean, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But but Taysom Hill has got to be my, my point definitely number one on my list as far as people I dislike. Oh, 100%. Because with the Saints, it could be the entire team. Honestly, honest. honest, it could be literally the entire team. But what I don't understand is that literally whenever he is on the field. It's all the announcers can talk about. It's like they, they 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 flip a switch and there's nothing else that they're allowed to talk about. I don't know if the director's telling them they can only talk about him, but I remember and I, it's not just us because I've seen people. They're like, right. look it. They, it was a tweet and it was like it was a handshake meme and it was like uh, white people, black people being confused about the hype of Taysom Hill because I don't understand. He came out of nowhere. He did barely anything in college. He was absolutely mediocre in college. He doesn't throw. And when he comes on, it's literally the only thing anyone can talk he's about. A great gadget play, but you know what? But you know what thing though? I, I've noticed this. Hey, they love their football guys. Me, a lot of football guys. Like, oh, oh, he's a football oh, he's guy. A, he's a he's, he's a, a he's a competitor. He's a competitor. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. They they, they 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 love that. I like man. For me, I was like, can he throw the ball? Can he throw the football? I, we have proof that he can't throw he the can't ball. Th- Oh, you know what? You know, out of his fifteen passes he's attempted, guess how many he's completed? I'm gonna say six, seven. Oh, I was, seven, <laughs> like, I was like, no, seven's too like in the middle number. I was like, yeah. six is a little bit four. Dang, really? But, yeah, to keep. God, but, yeah, but, and I'm a, I'm not gonna stay on New Orleans long. I'm gonna try not to because I could do a whole show about New Orleans. But we then shift this to the probably entire team. Oh yeah, with a couple guys being Cam Jordan. Uh, I can't stand Cameron For Jordan. me, Mike Thomas. Yep, I can't stand him either. Uh, Dr. Dubinschmertz, and he's his he, voice is higher than mine. Yeah. yeah. Like, what? You I can't have a be personal. A I, have a, I, got, I got like a. I just got like a. Per, I just have a problem with the way he talks. You I know? do too. You it's, he's it's, it's, it's whiny. It's, it's, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. If I ever see you, Mike Thomas, in person, I'm going to tell you I don't like your voice in person. I don't care. You're going to never see me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls up to the podcast. <laughs> come to the University of South Carolina. Ooh, oh, come yeah. on. Oh, you got me. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, with the, with the losses they've suffered in the last couple of years, they've been very vocal about everything that's going on. And I mean, you know, Cam Jordan, for one. How, as much as he trolls Cam New, you know, you know what? I'm a, I love a good troll job. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I love trolling. Trolling's an art form. He man. backs it up with his play. Yeah, he right. does at times, <laughs> and and at other times when they get beat, it's always the zebra man's it's fault. Always the zebra man's fault. How you t- tell me how the zebra man's stop you from tackling Stephon Damn. Diggs? The zebra man ain't the zebra man. Tell your safety to duck, close his eyes, and miss. No. Zebra man, ain't, I ain't well, I mean, gonna lie. That may have been passive. Oh, oh, it was one hundred percent passive. But then, but, the Zebra man didn't yeah. tell nobody to guard the two hundred and eighty pound rock that is Kyle Rudolph. Like yeah. he was out there, now someone the could have got not, him. Now the Zebra man did not throw that flag when a uh, little buddy got hit uh, against the Rams. 
You know, no, he didn't. The fans. He didn't, no. didn't throw his flag then. But the Zebra Man didn't stop y'all over the line from not blocking for Drew Brees no. when, he th- when he threw the n- Or scoring more overtime. points in the first half. Yeah. Like, you didn't score, like, you scored what? Like, Zebra think. Man ain't did none of that. He ain't did none of that. It was so much funny. It was so funny to remember the game this year. It was the first year that they had the rule where they could challenge whether or not there's a pass interference. It's so funny. Where we almost, so we lost to them. But we had that one play where it, uh, I think it was it was Curtis got tripped up. Yeah. It might have been Jarius Wright. And he would have gotten to the ball had he not been stopped. And so we threw the flag. Uh, we threw the challenge flag. Come on, we think it's pass interference. And they were, I, I was like, oh, my God. If they, if that's the first one that gets overturned and it's in New Orleans. And they lose because of it. That would be just, it's so stupid. Like, if we, had, if we had won, they would have rioted in the streets. Like, mm-hmm. they, would have, they would have murdered that zebra. You know, our hate for New Orleans runs deep because of, obviously, a lot of things that have happened in the past. Bounty Gate being the main reason. Oh, 100%. You know, I, I, I think as a collective, the league, we, I don't think anybody really enjoys – you know, New Orleans after what that after what that whole debacle was. A guy yeah, like no. Roman Harper initially, you know, but t- until he became a Panther, I was fine. And, 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 and all was well. I was fine, it's, and it goes both ways though. Yeah. I love Ted Ginn and I love AJ Klein. You go to the Saints, you lose my. My know. only problem with Ted Ginn is that you know Ted Ginn. Ted Ginn was like this. Ted Ginn is like the. He's like the one cousin that always asks you for it. Like, I always ask you for money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like you know you know he comes over, gets what he has, get gets what he needs, leaves. Then once he's once he's low again, he comes back, and then once he gets what he gets, he gets what he needs, and once he can get it for somebody else, he leaves again. That's exactly what Ted exactly Ginn was. He's, That's exactly what he was in, in his career in Carolina. He's like the ex-governor. He's like, oh, I know I can get a better guy than you. Goes to the other guy. That guy's trash. He's like, oh my god, please take me back. Like, and then like, what do you want? What do you want? You had it. Go yeah. away. But I guess we can. Oh my god. We, you know, like I said, we can we can stay on New Orleans for a long time, but we're gonna They're keep fans, it within the energy. I hate who that. Ugh. You know, you know, for the fans. Only reason I'm gonna lay off the fans is because you know what? I think this is get this would be a very personal attack, and y'all yeah. gotta see me. I don't care. <laughs> y'all can see me in the streets. I don't there's care one fan. There's one Twitter. There's one Saints fan who's a buddy of mine in high school, and we go back and forth all the time. I got I got a couple of. Because he chirps, and then I chirp, but then he's like, "Okay, well, we beat you," and I was like, "Yes, okay, that's, 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 that's it. There's right. nothing I can do." That's right. Falcons, Fal- but Falcons. Mm, yeah. Now we can shift into the Falcons. Now, you know it's crazy. I, I don't really have anybody I particularly hate over there in, in, in Atlanta. Aside from, aside from, like, I know a lot of Falcons fans because you know we're in the South. In the so, area, I mean, yeah. You know, I know a lot of Falcons fans. But aside from that, I mean, they have well, they don't they haven't won anything. I, I I can deal with them a little bit easier than everybody else. But I'll let you shoot on this one. But you see, seem like you got a lot to say. oh my gosh. So the thing, the problem is, is I I live with three Falcons fans, and I say that because. A, they barely watch the games. They only want to watch the games when we only have one TV. And we all, they only want to watch their games when the Panthers are on. So that I cannot watch my game. And they won't say anything about their team when they lose. But the minute the Panthers lose, they will chirp me all day. And I'm like, y'all do not care about the Falcons. Like, you don't. No, 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 no. So stop, like, relying. I hate that we've lost, that we've been swept by them the past two seasons. I think Matt Ryan's overrated as well. Yeah. I think Matt Ryan was not, without Julio Jones, is nothing. I hate it. I hate it. Um, what's his face? Uh, crap. He was, uh, their second running back who's now in the 49ers. Seven Coleman? Thank you. I hated him because we were always like, okay, we got to focus on, uh, De- uh, Devonta Freeman. And to be fair, you, nobody, he would never nobody do anything. Had, nobody has a game plan for Devonta. No, because he's just a, a, a boulder that moves very slowly. Imagine these are NFL guys and obviously I know good, these guys yeah. are much more talented than me. Oh, 100%. But, but it was but, always Telvin Coleman. That, yeah. It was always Telvin Coleman that murdered. And then Mah- Muhammad Sanu too. I went, I mean, I'm not a fan of Muhammad Sanu. We would cover Julio. We would lock him down. And then Muhammad Sanu would come out of nowhere and get a grab. And I'm like, who are you? What? Who? I don't like. And no one. I mean, I don't dislike anybody on the Bengals. Art and Bengals. The Bucks. I don't dislike. Really. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, because you know, you know, you know why I definitely enjoy the Buccaneers. Because you know, for the most part of my time being a fan, there's usually a guaranteed two win that they usually give us. So you know, I appreciate you, Tampa Bay. I love it. And if nobody else don't love you, I do. I, you're like the little brother. I, I'm glad that you know. I don't want you to do better than me. No, but I'd be happy for your successes. You know, like yeah. it, it's it's cute. I enjoy it. It's fine, but I mean, I guess as we. Oh shoot! I forgot. You know what? We in the NFC South still. I was talking about people we hate on, but then our own franchise. Oh, there there are people I hate within my own oh, franchise. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I can say I can kick it off by one being my general manager, Marty Herney. Like I ain't never too much liked you anyway. No, I ain't never really have. I ain't never really been a fan of yours since the first now time. Now we're the now bro. we're the ex girlfriend that's coming that's crawling back. Right, right, like fam. See, this is it. This is when you let go of that one ex that was bad for you. Yes. You had fun. Uh, you had fun. They, you, you get, they gave you so you had y'all had some great moments together. Y'all had some moments that you, that you always you had Julius Peppers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had Steve Smith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had some great guys. 
Yeah. But you know what? We also had Jeff Ota. You know? God, we also Jeff had Everett Ota. Brown. You know, oh, my God. And we God. also had Jimmy Carlson. Oh. So, you know, it's just sometimes, you know, you got so caught up in the good times. Like, you know what? You ain't, you just kind of forgot, like, damn. That was really bad. It was, was we good. had Armani Edwards. We drafted Armani he Edwards. He got a history with these third round picks. He really does. Jesus. Brenton Burson. <laughs> Why would oh, you? The God. only reason Brenton Burson was drafted is because A, he was Jerry Richardson's neighbor, and Jerry Richardson was the only other player out of Wofford to go to the NFL. But Goldilocks did nothing. Actually, Goldilocks had a couple catches that were hilarious. Yeah, a couple catches that were, that were, that were cute, you but, know what I'm saying? But him being a punt returner was like a. It was nothing. It was awful. He would buff so many punts. What the hell y'all do? And our, our special teams was so trash. For, it still is kind of trash. I mean, you think about a Lindo Mari, how bad he was. I don't think this is trash. I thought it was always funny when we had Mike Tolbert and Joe Webb were our freaking kick returners. And that's another reason why I hate Taysom Hill. Obviously, Joe Webb was not blowing up the charts. But when you want, like, he was a, he ran plays. Joe Webb was a better quarterback. And he, well, he could throw, but he could also catch a couple passes. He could take it directly. And he was returning kickoffs. Oh, sure. You know, while we talking about guys that, 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 that we hate, I know you got one in particular on the offensive line. I? From a couple years ago. There are only a couple people in this world. I consider myself a good Christian man, but there are only a few humans alive on this earth that I would look at and wish bad things upon. And one of those, and probably the paramount one, is Mike Remmers. I cannot stand him because he, honest to God, played very well that season for the beginning. of He locked down J.J. Watt. He did a good job. Now, they were double-teaming him for the most part. Of course, as you should. As you should, because it's J.J. Watt. I don't like J.J. Watt either. I think he... I don't like that he was MVP that many times because his, his team was trash. If you have a losing record, how can you be defensive on MVP? You but shouldn't, but uh-huh. we're gonna, well, I digress. We're, I digress. But Mike Remmers, not only did he get just exposed in that Super Bowl, not even by Von Miller because that's another guy I don't like. I think Von Miller is a little bit overhyped. I mean, he, just, he still is pretty good. <laughs> I think he's, he's a good. little he's overhyped. Good. I don't think he's better than Keekly. Well, I mean, they, 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 they play today. Yeah, it's, 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 that's, that's, that's that weird three four thing. Player. Yeah, yeah, as a defensive player, no, I don't, no, But it wasn't even Von Miller. It was Demarcus Ware who has arthritis at the time because he was in what is like eleventh or not even a lot. He was not. Nah, he was talking about like fifteen, sixteen. Years. I mean, he literally had no knees, but he was blowing Mike Remmers up, and he made us look like trash. And the only reason our offense worked that year is because we could set up the run and we could have long, deep passes, yeah, but Cam needed five passes, seconds yeah. in the pocket. Gotta have it. Gotta, gotta have that time. And you could say that, oh, Cam didn't die for the ball. And, like, mm-hmm. don't you don't need to say that. And you could say Jericho Cotri caught the ball because he, he did. did. But Mike Remmers, in totality, lost us that Super Bowl. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. And then we didn't come after that. We signed him for another two year contract. And we get, there was the game that next year against the Falcons. Where we were like in the mid, almost 500. It was like the first couple weeks. First time playing them. We were down by a touchdown. We had driven down the field. Cam had gotten us there. And it's first and goal at the five. Whistle, false start, 65 Mike Remmers. I'm like, okay, whatever. Second game, false start, Mike Remmers. I'm like, okay, that's not good. Third penalty, false start, Mike Remmers. And then a fourth one. We went from first and goal on the five to first and goal on the 30. And we didn't make we didn't score a touchdown, obviously, and we didn't think we didn't miss the field goal, and we lost that game. And it's just, and then we finally and then we flipped them. We didn't even get anything for him. We flipped no. them for Matt Khalil, who I also don't love. I don't like the entirety money they have our offensive line. Yeah, because it's just been it's been trash. Well, I think we have hit pretty much any everybody we need to hit within the South, even including our team. Dave Gettleman, I don't what, like you either. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one that, explains, that, that, that one explains the stuff though. Yeah, I I don't have to get get in too much to get into that one, but. What about some announcers? Some guys in the media you really you just don't take care for. I don't like Joe Buck. John like Jason I think Whitlock. he says very, very just and that, like very obvious things. Mm. I don't like um oh he's not he's not NFL. If they get ten yards, it'll be a first down. Well, dude, like I you can put Booger in and say that. I I people stop hating on Booger, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean he's bad, but like Booger tries his best. He try he, he's trying out there, yeah, okay? I don't best. I hated uh I hated um uh, crap. Raiders coach, help me. John Gruden. Oh, John Gruden. Yeah. I hated him. He hated the Panthers. I don't have problems. He, every primetime game, he would just crap on us. Yeah. Every but time. But, but, but it's fine. You know the reason why I don't hate John Gruden? Because I'm because i I'm, I'm petty. So, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You, we got you fired. So, yeah. That that's is it. fine. I don't like the new, um, the guys that now do the Madden game. Um, um, it's one white dude, one black dude. It's, um, 
I don't remember who their names are, but they're real announcers. But they, I, I loved Alan Chris as your Madden announcers. And every time I hear their voices, and Madden gets so scripted now, but that's neither here nor there. And then the Zoot in college, um, Kirk Herbstreit. I can't stand him. I, like Kirk. I cannot stand. He says he's like a Joe Buck. He says the most obvious things. You know, it's crazy though. But his thing, I don't even. I don't really even watch right. any of those guys. Well, that's why it was in the. It was only in the national championship when I was like, ah, yeah. And I was like, dude, you're not saying anything necessary. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else I don't like. Maybe coaches wise. I don't, know. Uh, I don't think I have any coaches. I don't have a coach. I don't really just particularly dislike. I hate Kelvin Benjamin. You, you yeah, lost yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course, Kelvin Benjamin. Well, yeah, but he, he's, he's down bad right now. I won't, I won't, yeah, I mean, he's not doing anything now. I more hate on him. I'm trying to think of who else I don't like. Um, uh, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I think for me, that was pretty... I might hate really resides in the South. So that's about it for me. I, I hate know. every NFC East fan. I hate their. I hate. Oh them. yeah, I yeah, can't stand yeah, any yeah. of them. They're yeah, all. Yeah, but, that, that, but, that, but that's real. Jimmy. We can knock that. We can knock that one out real quick. Like Philly, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Cal. Yeah. Yeah. I can't stand it. I just. Giants. Eh, understandable. Understandable. But. You. You want now? See, the Giants are the girl who we told not. We, they're the girl, or maybe we told them not to date the guy because they hurt us, told them. and then they still dated the guy, and we're like, what? We told you what was going to happen. You knew what was going to happen. Not only that, though, his thing is always on both sides. Because they told us about him, and then we didn't listen. Dude, Dude, he came from New York. That is true. I forgot about that. Yeah. We didn't. But see, so then he cost the Moto Beckham. And then he drafted Daniel Jones, which we'll, we'll see how that does. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go that well, especially when he used that, such an early pick on him. That's a bad first round pick when he used him that early. So, hopefully yeah, we'll have we'll a little see. less to hate coming up in the future. Yeah. But. You know, it's also it's all it's always good to exercise those demons. Get it all out your system. I need I need it. This probably the last time you guys hear us talk like this candidly about things that we just dislike. Because we're journalists, but it needs but it need to come out. It need it need oh, to yeah. happen. It need to happen. And I'm glad you guys were here to experience it with us. This has been Money in the Bank. I'm Shanti Stewart. He's Jack Taylor. Yeah. We out. <laughs>